Yo, 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 where are my mountaineers at? Hello and welcome, I am Mountain General. And you are watching me play in the name of the Tsar, a mod that I wanted to play on the channel long ago, but somehow I never really got around to playing it. But now we are here, if my grand plan is working, this should be the sixth video of Slav month, the best month of the year. So tell me in the comments how are you enjoying these recent videos. And if you are not subscribed yet, subscribe there is a lot more to come and by the title and thumbnail of the video you know what we are going to do today and well hell somehow we have won this world war one thingy and everyone is just broken down to little pieces uh, this is just like N6 scenario 1914 when you know how to play this game. We have somehow by some miracle won the first world war and our Tsar is still holding on the power. Daddy Big Nick. And well today we will see what funny shenanigans we can do with the good old Russian Empire. If it even stays that way. Read some law if you want and here we go. We're gonna support Shang Shikai so he can do some funny things in China I suppose. Oh no, a revolt in Constantinople. Now, you see it's Tsarigrad and we have our troops there but... I don't want to get into trouble with any great nations just yet so we will retreat our forces. This is very nice, a lot of trolling will happen in China. Hey, go for it my man, do some funny stuff and send regards from us too. Oh no, and our Tsar just died, this is very bad. Don't mind me if this won't turn into a big opportunity. You know, now it's time to decide the future of Russia and possibly the whole world as well. Instability in Russia just showed everyone that disagrees with our ways, that's always a recipe that works, right? Oh no, 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 Turkestan revolts. They forgot that I have put an army here to deal with them. Even the Romanians are escaping my sphere of influence. Our little empire is falling apart in front of our eyes. Now are you ready to not lose any land? Because my army sure is. Hey, nobody even turn up to defend Ashkebat. Manjastau, that's where the Hungarians came from. And for our new Duma, Mr. Kerensky can take over for a little second. Before we just overthrow the Tsar down with the Tsar and with our stability even though it's already non-existent. And now just what could go wrong? We will empower the Reds, the red flag will fly above Russia and the House of Romanov was ended while we also enjoy Olympic Games. Long live the Republic, Puh. That will be very short lived. Hey, yo, communist Germans are already making those moves and soon we will join them. Because starving your population is a hell of a lot of fun. Now good job everybody, we have overthrown the oppressive Tsarist regime and we have installed an oppressive communist regime. We now have to really quickly solidify our rule over Russia before we explode. Also I wonder if the civil war breaks out, will we keep Drip Zhukov? on our side, that's the only question that bothers me. Oh shit oh fuck, we couldn't secure our power and have to go through a little civil war thingy. But I had my troops ready for this and well hell our Drip Zhukov is gone, sad times. Anyway I'm just on my way to finish this civil war and it was started by Alexander Kolchak. Who would have guessed? It's time that we secure our power and everything, oh even a large chunk of Russia flipped to our side. We will for sure win this bloody civil war. Yes, thank you for returning my factories, now I will just nationalize them and you will have no rights. Good job everyone. Russia is such a big country that you just have to walk around your enemies unopposed until you encircle them all. And yes, F's in the chat for our fleet, we will lose them all. Kolchak is beating my ass. Hey, even the Germans are securing the revolution, this is truly one struggle. Oopsie oops, the Kolchak's troops are just disappearing on daily 
daily basis and nobody knows why. You see, here in Russia we are all equal, all equally out of supplies. And it will get even worse when we push, push and push. I meant to say in, it will only get worse for our enemies. You see, everything we do is for the greater good, uh, it's for the revolution of course. Hey, you see how big of a mess this war is? Oh, I just wish I had some brave Czechoslovakian legionaries at my hand that would just hand me Kolchak so we didn't have to do this bullshit. My revolution is up, my syndrome is down. Now now that we have nicely won the civil war, it's time that we recall Lenin back from Switzerland, because he hasn't died from syphilis yet. Lenin is truly back in red. Ooh, I'm such a jokester, I will join the Bavarian faction and join the war against Prussia that just can't defend itself from me. Hello there everyone. This is just some nice Soviet invading. So yeah, we are speedrunning that run for Berlin. We need to Sekia's revolution at home and in the world as well. Uh, I don't know what the fuck is this, but I don't want to give anything to Poland. Um, this is stupid. So this means that we will have to like um, make it right. Oh, I wouldn't want to be a French person right now. Also, the communists have taken over with Himmler looking as wannabe. Also, I will do one little simple thing, and that is taking over the Comintern. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bavarians, but. The Soviets have taken over. By the way, I really love how the 100% bonuses on the land doctrine doesn't work. That's always sweet. I'm sorry Poland, but I want to have nice borders. Yes, Germany was unified under a red flag. And with the help of the Soviets. Molotov Ribbentrop Pact has to happen in any universe, I suppose. Oh no, Japan just jumped into China and formed the Chinese United Front. But don't worry. I also have a horse in this race, it's Zhuto Rasia. It's very odd that we didn't do a communist revolution here, but this guy can stay, he looks cool. Yo, even America exploded into a civil war. A shadow man versus Earl Browder. This world will have a lot of fun indeed. I'm sorry Finland, but we are taking you back. Soon you will see why. Just have to sneak into Helsinki and everything will be good for us, not for the Finnish though. Oh, what are Austrians doing? They are just invading Czechoslovakia. That's just a checkmate for them. You know, I do not care, I'm just gonna try to improve my army. And well, now I can do the proclamation of the Russian SSR and get few little puppets. Who did hurt you, Trotsky? What are you even doing? I literally have nothing against you in this universe. And now, we have just created some little cursed borders. But you see everyone is part of Comintern, so it's alright. I kinda don't vibe with all these borders and colors, so give me one second. And I have achieved all of this with Colorizer Country, so now these borders look very pretty and I think we are set and ready to conquer more. Also, imagine the annual meeting of Comintern. Welcome comrade, welcome comrade, welcome comrade, welcome comrade, welcome comrade. Ray, welcome. Hey, what's up, bro? Well, hell, the Rhine was guaranteed by the Frenchies, so this means that we have a little communist infighting on our hands. I will join the Germans when that will suit me the most. And that means that we will join right away. Oh, look how nasty I am going around every French troop. Well, maybe not. Now, if we quickly break into France, the war is won. The Federalist Austrians try to invade Hungary and we get a new member to our little faction. This is all good. Everything is going according to my plans, not like that I wanted to, you know, reform my whole army. Hey, you see, we are blessed, we only get new friends to our great Comintern faction. My little Polish puppet has a peasant civil war, so that means we have to shoot some farmers. Hey, I kinda forgot that my army is modernizing and I'm just attacking everywhere very aggressively. Maybe not the best idea, but I'm still going to do that, because I am the Soviet Union. I don't care how many my people will die, we will win eventually. Now Galicia Lodomeria just joined the Yugoslavian faction, so that means we will even expand to the Balkans. So this is how it is. France joined the Balkan shield and 
you know, I don't even blame them, their city of Paris always looks like Balkans when those retarded French people are protesting for nothing, most of the times. After throwing millions and millions of my soldiers against the France, we were finally able to do a massive breakthrough and yeah, we are walking towards demolishing Paris even more. No protesters can match the wrath of the Soviet army. This is just so over for all the French people, they didn't have a true communism, no 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 no. We are going to install even communistic communism. They'll be looking very tasty. Also, I just wanted to go through Netherlands so we can go around France, but I'm still gonna conquer Benilux. And we are marching down the south towards the end of the Balkans. This is the end of the world. You know, I didn't do anything, but for some reason I own Burundi. Like, hello, what does this even mean? It just don't mind me the destroying the Belgians for no good reason. Or maybe there is, I just want to connect my Burundi colony to the rest of my Comintern world. Sorry Romania, you should have never betrayed us, it's you are either with us or you won't exist anymore. No exceptions. I am feeding all the Romanians to my black Moldavians. For taking my Tsarihrad, I'm just gonna go on a little tour to the Ottoman Empire, so we can also use our Black Seas fleet in the world as well. Um, this is not looking good, but... No, I'm just kidding, this is looking very good. Soviet Union for the win, we will end the Ottoman Empire once again. I don't know why I would rename the city of Istanbul to city of Istanbul, so um... Oh no, I changed it to Constantinople. Hehe, <laughs> don't mind if I do. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna connect all my territories and ask questions later. Italo Balbo, can you make up your fucking mind already on who you want to invade? You know, I'm just gonna make up your mind for you. Thinking sometimes hurts, so I'm glad that I can help you with everything. Well, hell, there goes the whole Italian army in the Alps. Ah, hell, no, the Japanese just took the Italians under their wings and this is just bad because my whole army is in Europe. Also, what the fuck is France doing? They are my puppet and they have their own faction. I am sending out a great expedition to the east. They will all die there very brutally when they get there. I really love how everyone is just going through the Trans-Siberian Railway to just beat up some Japanese people. Well, um, this ain't good. This is really fucking bad. In order to capitulate Japan, we need to go through Mongolia. Sorry, Mr. Long, nonsensical name. Now, who is getting encircled, huh? Do you fucking like this? I fucking hope so. We are just so back. How did I just know? Notice that my horses don't have any soldiers on them. In Soviet Russia, the horses are fighting for the motherland. No supplies, no problem. My soldiers are already well adjusted to all the starving that happens. This is not so different from the average Soviet villager's life. Instead of bandits, they're just shooting Japanese soldiers. There is quite literally no escape from the Soviet forces in Asia. You know, you wanted this, Japan. I'm just slowly coming for your emperor. Also, we have been invited to do whatever we want in China because it's undefended. I'm gonna make Mugden incident look like a fucking joke when I'm done here. Hmm, peace out with the Japanese. Nah, I want their emperor's head on my plate. Wait. When every Japanese soldier is in China, that means that nobody is going to defend this little island. I'm just gonna Soviet my way to Tokyo and everything will be just fine. No, fuck off. We are almost done with you. You will have peace soon. As I said, peace in our time. Me of wholesome Soviet Union, I will just liberate all the workers of Asia because I'm just such a good guy. You know, I would even invite Cambodia into my faction but it seems like that they are doing their own thing. Oh, now I hope that going to Afghanistan won't be a huge mistake. Now that we own a good chunk of world, it is only time that we destroy United Kingdom and make their empire our own empire. Best time to invade is now because 
Well, we are more than ready with all of our allies and a lot of British troops are just tied up in their own colonies. Yeah, just look how many British soldiers are in Iraq alone. And the best thing is that we already are on our way to secure an unguarded British coast. They are just letting me walking to London and thanking me for liberating them all. It is all this easy. I feel like this is the cleanest invasion of United Kingdom that I have ever done. Nobody was ready and soon we will capitulate them because of my spy agency. So GG easy. British Empire is now Soviet Empire. So I have puppeted Britain, redone some borders and Comintern owns half half of the world. Like when we have these territories as puppets that means we are good, right? Our Russian People's Republic was greatly expanded in Africa. It's not colonialism or anything. I hope you have enjoyed today's video and if not, you will get shot in the head by Cheka. Subscribe for more videos. Also I'm leaving America alone because the Soviets respect the Monroe Doctrine. And as always big thanks goes to my channel members their names are in the description and a special thanks goes to Razanon and that one dude for being the highest channel members.